All right, I'm gonna try something here. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can show exactly what my breakdown is here. I'm gonna just do, I'm not gonna do the leads. I'm not gonna do the cleans. I'm not gonna do the bass. Um, now yeah, you know, I'll do the bass and the guitars. We'll just make this pretty simple. So guitar left 75 and guitar right 75 have the same effects chain. Guitar right 90 and guitar left 90 have the same effects chain. Um, guitar uh, right guitars and left guitars also have the same effects chain. So what we'll do is we'll just look at right guitar. The 90 I use, um, actually I'm going to turn off the effects so you can hear that it's literally just DI guitar going through here. Alright, so there's no effects on there, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the effects, uh, the chain here. We're going to turn it back on first. Um, so this is going to be DI with just this wacky EQ. And actually I'm going to turn it up just a tad. Okay, here we go. Let me try it again. Here we go. And then I'm going to turn it off. Back on. Um, I know it looks extreme, but this is how I've been EQing since I first started. And I haven't really, I mean, I've missed a bunch, but... Um, I just do it works. I know it's probably way more extreme of a change than most people would want to see on an EQ, but this is just how I do it, and it clearly makes a difference. So then we go from the EQ to the Native Instruments Supercharger, and then um, actually what I'm going to do is I'll turn that on as we're playing it. kind of rounds it out. I mean, it's it's just like a compressor, basically, but it kind of rounds it out a little bit, makes a little bit sharper of an attack. Then we're going to go here and add Guitar Rig 5. Let me turn this down a little bit. Because as you can tell, it's gotten significantly louder with just the EQ and the supercharger. Um, we're going to add the Native Instruments Guitar Rig 5 Screamer, which is basically just, you know, a tube screamer. Very, very, very light crunch. Notice there's a little less low end, and the reason I want that is because I need to be able to mix the bass in and hear that. So now we're going to turn on Hell Beast, the original. It took a. I had the original, and then I got Amp Locker and it updated it to the most recent one, and it sounded, for me, sounded like garbage. This is exactly what I wanted to hear. We'll turn this on. Huge difference. Alright, now I have uh, the Guitar Right 75 soloed. And I'm going to go between these two tracks um, to show you the difference between these two. This is a 75 playing. And this is a 90 here. I'll go back to the 75. I like to describe it as the um, the 75 is like uh, mid mids to low end, uh, mid mids to low mids. So the 75 is like a um, a mid boost, whereas the 90 is like a scoop um, with a little less low end. So I really kind of just dial out 
most of the low end entirely um, because I want the uh, I want the base to cut through. So the um, the 75 is almost exactly the same as the 90. It just doesn't have the pre EQ. Um, it has a post EQ. So when I say post, I mean post supercharger. So I have supercharger first then the EQ, and notice how this band is a little further back than the other one was. This one was kind of like, or the 90 was about from uh, channel 5 to halfway between 4 and 3, whereas this one, it's a little further back. So 75 is going to have the band here, whereas this one has the band here, obviously. Um, I also do not have the um, Tube Screamer on this one. It just goes straight into the Hellbeast, and I have Kill Mode on, which adds a little bit more um, high-end attack and grit. Um, so I have those two, and then that goes into the Distortion Guitar Premaster, which is a another supercharger, side-chained, so that allows like leads or vocals to go through going into another EQ with this low mid boost to give it that nice punch. Then we go into smooth operator with a really nice, it's called smooth like butter. So it kind of cuts back on those harsh parts in the high end and kind of boosts the high low or the, the mid mids, I guess the low mid mids <laughs> and smooths that out. And then I have just a little bit of reverb. I'm at negative 35 on the wet, negative 0.4 on the dry. So it is really just adds a little bit of room. I don't have echo on it, just reverb. And then from there, oh, I'm sorry. I missed the, the right guitars chain, which is just two EQs. It's got all these weird EQs and it's right and left guitar. So it goes from, and I apologize for skipping. It goes from right and left or the right 75, left 75. Let me try that again, again, again. The right 75 and the right 90 go into right guitars. Same thing with left. The left and the right, as I said before, I have the same effects chain, which is I had supercharger in there. I have it turned off um, because reasons. Too much compression screws things up, obviously. So I have these dialed out almost entirely. I have the super high end dialed out. And then I have another one where I have this really nice big arch here dialed out around, uh, what is that there, 590, 600, something like that. And then I have another nice little shoop doop cutting off the super highs. So there should be no harshness in the guitars. Then we go from those into this one that I just showed you, the guitar pre-master, which then those go into the submix which the submix goes to the whole project pre-master and then into the master. So this is the submix. We have yet another side-chained supercharger, which then goes into another EQ, which just validates stuff that I had been doing prior. You know, the lower end and the higher end here. Highs completely cut out, lows drop off. Um, then I have a little bit of a surround sound effect in here. Um, I don't remember when I put that in there, probably years ago. But uh, yeah, that's that. I haven't, I didn't really change much. Um, I don't remember what this one actually is or does, but I put that in there and it makes things sound a little nicer. Kind of dial out the low mids, or I'm sorry, the mids just kind of entirely. Not out, but like a little lower, kind of make it a little bit rounder. And then yet another smooth operator, which is almost a completely flat thing. I just have this flat across, and I pulled the highs down just like the, the tiniest amount. I had a limiter on here. It was too much limiter. I got rid of that. Um, then we have the distorted bass, which obviously my Kraken hybrid. Then we go into a smooth operator where I almost completely dial out the top end. Um, this is harsh here. This is a little less harsh just because it naturally dips off the high end. So I kind of push that through. And then we have Duality Bass Studio, which starts with this as the drive. Um, I've got my um, high pass at 232, low pass at 1164, drive at 8, and my secondary high pass at 159, secondary low pass at 574. 
I have pre on, mix at 34, American stack. Then we go to the amp, which is channel 3, gain at 7, bass at 2, mid at 9, treble at 5, presence at 9, master at minus 7, crunch at 4, sub at 0, mix at 99. Then we have my cab, PV head, L121, cut off at 51, volume at 0. Uh, then cabinet B, D, uh, DG4, uh, DG410-121, cut off at 48, volume at 0. And I have it slanted towards cabinet A. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I'd say about like 66% A. Um, then we have effects. I have nothing on here. And then those go into the Bass Master, which is yet again another supercharger side chained, and yet again another uh, smooth operator with the highs almost completely dialed out. Surprisingly smooth. Surprisingly not as much uh, high end dialed out as you'd think. Um, then we have my drums, which are, wait, another supercharger. No side chain because it sounded too side chained, so I took that out. Then we have another EQ where we push this a little bit so I can get the uh, lower toms and the kicks pushed through a little. And this here for the high end of the, uh, of the snare. We have this nice drum bus this was this is literally almost completely stock i think i took i dialed a little bit of the high end out because the uh the cymbals were just a little too harsh a little too tinny so i dialed that down a little bit but we're good and then just a little bit of room reverb minus 30 with just the reverb generator on no echo those all then get directed into the pre-master which is here Here's that effects chain. What do you know? Smooth operator. Again, just dial back the bass a tad. Dial up the high end, like the literally, like maybe like a third of a decibel, but move the whole general compression away from the compression, you know, max. So it's very, 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 very little compression on here. It's more of an EQ than it is compression. We have the output maxed. Then we have our limiter. Uh, no brick wall ceiling. Uh, threshold negative six. All of that then goes to my master here, which is Rhea Comp. I don't remember what the inputs I put in here or why, but I think this is just like basic, like literally, like it's the default. Like you open it up, oh, it's compressed. Here you go. Uh, another EQ with really nice smooth curves. Um, I think I did this based off of a YouTube video I watched years and years ago, so I just kept it because it always sounded nice. Um, Rhea Comp, again, YouTube video suggestion from many, many years ago. Just used those, dialed them in uh, a little bit more based off of my ear, but otherwise, there you go. And what do you know? Another smooth operator. Different shape, higher up here, so it's less compression, more EQ. At least from my experience. I very well could be explaining all of this wrong, but this is just what makes sense to me, and this is how it sounds to me. So I explain how it works for me. And then finally, master limiter. Again, threshold minus six. Um, yeah, that's basically my whole... Um, thing from di guitar all the way to final thing in my project templates this is how i do all of my albums i do them all in one project every thing that i need every track is in here already so i, li I all i need to do is just drag and drop stuff um so like the midi drums the midi bass is all in yellow all this red is guitars, I quad track, so two left, two right. Um, all the leads have the different channels that they can, you know, ever want to use. The cleans, I can always add more if I wanted to. But yeah, that's uh, that's an all-in-one mixing slash mastering, I guess, template for Reaper via me.